happened to walk backwards a little bit. Giving away some time. Yankos is still in that brush. Top lanes are trading. Well, they are going back and forth. Steve working towards that Morella Nomicon. And we see Youngbuck, the makings of that Catalyst of Protector. They're continuing All to right. trade. Steve is going to throw out the Time Wander. Youngbuck forced to flash away. Steve is looking for more. He's got the phase dive and Youngbuck's low. Flash Steve. forward. Time Wander comes back for the stylish finish. Cool guys. Don't look at exploding Maokai as he walks away. Fully on style. And here we go in the middle lane. And Soren's acting gig has not paid off. Gagas mm. comes in, but he does not land the body slam. Knocks away Soren. Yanko should be able to finish this off. What one more barrel slap as Shook actually replies onto Steve up top. Another one for one, but it was Youngbuck that adds a kill credit to Rocket. At the right time in the wrong place. Yeah, I mean, let's see what happens bot lane here. First binding already connected to Godfrey. Oh, and the stun, force of will, unleashed power. Easy peasy kill for power of evil. Frederick's gonna chase, got no flash, because he needs to flash away safely. And Unicorns get first blood. Wordup does have a flank, but Vardax is shredding him down. Power of people. people was tanking the Baron. That's not your objective. And he's going to be forced to wait. True shot for Archer kills him! The power of Audrey takes out the carry of UOL. Now all of a sudden, the gigantic Spanish fans at Armada are set on another Baron. Four versus five minions attacking Giant's base. Dragon's Descent available Ready from Wurlip, they're going in, Cyclone comes up, here comes Wurlip for support. Hillisite is trying to defend with those Soul Shackles, but I don't think it's enough. Double kill for Pepe Nero as the Living Artillery shoots Unicorn's hopes down. Wurlip and Frederick started, Wurlip and Frederick want to end it. Aspect of the Dragon means nothing against the Half-Dragon Shivana. And Giants take the gold lead. They have control of Baron. One more kill, one They have the ace. And they may have the game. Godfrey and Pepe Nero set up on the Nexus turrets with the aid of the Super Minions. They are ready to fight because they've already gone back with the AD carry. BF Sword for Reckless. It's if a big spike. If, if Yana recalls now, Dragon dies instantly. And that's uh, another one from Ryu. Connect. But they could lose Febivin here as he's forced to flash away. In comes Odo and Lulix. All that damage from the Shock Blast. But it won't matter as Ryu will take him out. However, H2K are a little oh low boy. for this one. Fanatic collapsing. In comes the Howling Gale. Ryu's got to flash it. It's going to hurt for H2K. Yeah, Rekus, though. Right around the side. He's going to find Lulex, and Ryu's going to find Rainover. Rainover finds him, takes him down. The axe is mightier than the bow. Now Yarnin is going to get blown up. That's Reckless. That gets the kill credit. H2K bailing out. And it ends up being a two for one. For J-Row, Sven might try and set up a gank. Lane is pushed pretty far down, but if j -Row goes aggressive here, Sven goes in. And coming out of the bushes instantly, he's going to flash the big barrels on, the Meganar's up, and he's going to have to use that ulti and flash away. Will he stay alive? Freddy goes forward. j -Row is so low, but Sven's on the chase, tanking oh, the tower. Get it. He's down. He's going to go down, though. And j -Row makes the, the most of a situation. Finally gets a chance to use Frog and to get a bot lane tower as well for it. This one took quite some damage Ooh, before. Tabs took a oh, huge amount of health. They actually back off. It's near to going down, but still, this is dangerous for them. And Raiden and Candy Panda, they're gonna go ahead and pop on the hunt. Another Fates call, Teleport coming in. They turn around onto Enraided, but instantly, the Shen is gonna come out as well. Turning his attention to Candy Panda is JWoww, but in comes the Shen, gets the taunt off. In comes Meganar, and he's gonna smash down that bot lane. Nif picks up a kill on Enraided, and Fox immediately 180s. Pabs will take a few parting shots. Frog and Dexter, meanwhile, trying to cut off the route of escape. Bindings and boomerangs are flying wide. SK Gaming had to be careful. Oh, as we pan away, Frog and is able to snipe down N rated. It's yeah. a summer event. We couldn't show that for one. this element. Yeah, it was too graphic. And whenever JW has to teleport, he's the guy winning the one on one. Nice binding here onto Nif. Yeah, Nif is going to be pulled in, however, by the Fates call. Where's he coming out? Right into SK's waiting arms, and Candy Panda takes him down. Nif. Is going down after the five tabs that actually got building the wave down bottom. They've sent JWoww kind of to the top lane to try and push off. This should prompt SK. Will they go ahead and start this Baron? They do. There are Kogma living artillery shells flying turn, from the back. But now they can turn on to Nif. He's going to get pulled in. There's the face call used defensively. Fox is now going to get some shielding in the form of Freddy. That's going to be a big shutdown, though, for Tabs. And Elements manage to find three members. Freddy burning low. And will they finish him off here? No. They turn their own attention to the Baron. Freddy's going to teleport. Frog is going to stop him. Down he goes. Four for zero. Elements. 
towers close to SK Gaming, so they don't have to worry about them now. This gives SK the chance to just start that 5-on-5 team fight. Sven is coming in for the flank. The coins pop. He's actually worried. Wait a minute, guys. I what? thought you said go. And Everyone's just down from here SK. For elements here. So that buys time. And look here, everyone from SK is dead. Elements might be able to go up and finish the game. But then again, they don't have any minions themselves. They're all stuck down They're here. Have to tank the tower. They've, they've they have nothing in their base except the Nexus right now. They're sending Froggen and Dexter to get these. These death timers are so long. There's one Nexus turret. They can tank they it will with get Dexter it. here. They will get it. Dexter can tank it. Froggen take it down. j -Wo joining in as well. What a game, though. What a game indeed. Just shy of 55 minutes, Dexter goes down. j -Wo's coming. Finish the turret. j -Wo's coming. Oh, he they're going to have to wait on it. Sending the next guy. All right, so it might actually hit that 55-minute mark. Down it goes. The dead timers are just too long. And in an outright back and forth slugfest, elements have taken. Maybe enough to. Down. We'll talk about that in a moment. Hooney's come in with the phase dive. He's got the time winder out as the parallel convergence should be enough to stun Diamond as well as Cabochon. Hooney is going to get a time winder Holy for one Holy. and a phase dive for two. Okay. Okay, that's where we invest all our wards. Oof. This time around, it's near the dragon. Fnatic, though, very quickly cleared it out because now Gambit weren't there to protect them, had to just run away. Oh! They can run to him. However, they need to find Shook. They do indeed. Shook is inbound, but he has to turn around. The rest of his team wasn't really able to keep up, and they Origin once again able to disengage. Unlimited still taking a lot of damage. Freeze as well. Barrel comes in, and he gets knocked into them. Down goes Freeze. The Shockwave lands on Niels and takes out half his health. Bot lane even Steven, so the only advantage can be made in the top lane. But very telegraphed ganks on both sides, so... Yeah, I'm waiting for first blood. Like we were waiting for Godot, and then... Might turn out to be quite the wait. Oh, Jay Wow. He looks like he wants it right about now into the brushes. You can't hide. Okay. And in Maynard form, Jay Wow is going to do it solo. Jay Wow is past this massive. I'm going to take first blood. Elements in the lead. Receive. He is there. Six and one. Teleport in for Odo. They're going to look to rush this Baron down. It's spotted by SK's ward, but still some time on Candy Panda, Fox, and Freddy. Sven could attempt the Miracle Steal, but he's got to be careful to dodge the Shock Blast. And Raided is there as well. In goes Odawamne. They're going to turn their attention with just him. Big Barrel to try and push him back. Teleport now for Freddy as he's come back off of Fountain. Sure Odo's still like standing that. strong. Baron going low. Sven Skarin comes in. The steal is complete. Sven Skarin comes up with it. And Freddy picks off Odawamne. Yeah, J.O. should just be pushing the bot lane here, facilitating a rotation. Elements can hold the Giants in the mid lane with that Sunday's tower. And then go back into the jungle and go in, but here's on the hunt! Oh! Denied! denied. It's pushed back, and meanwhile, while the hook was finally landed, it's Godford that went down. Dexter took the incentive to bop him in the face. It's looking for a... You know, fight fire with fire. How do you fight a dragon? You simply get five of them. And you beat the dragon with Aspect of the Dragon. Sometimes it works. Teleport coming in. Whirlip doesn't cancel it. They turn their attention to him. Nip's gonna get the knockup. J Wow goes Meganar. The ball Ooh. lands on everyone from Elements, and they might have stayed too long as Giants turn around the collapse. Frederick picks up Froggen. Dexter gets hit by the ball of Pepe, and now Nip is bailing out. Headbutts, but Audrey takes him down anyways. All of a sudden, three Elements members down. Carries and tanks and King. Gravity wants to go in on this, but this is so dangerous. It's got to be a perfect equalizer. Can't miss it if they decide to chase. Again, all right move. In Nothing on to all tech. The back line gets hit. Shao Wei Shao very low. All tech. A lot of room to work with this now. They try to get out and twist it. Advance hit. There's the cleanse. He's back out. Haunts are very low, but there's just too many members. Crit. Wait. Oh, he dodges it, but Haunts are. The boomerang doesn't have to hit. He throws out a crit auto. They take each other down in a draw. And it's going to be Impulse Woo. coming up with the win here. Smite still up for move. He's trying to make his way in. One shot to Xiaowei Pao. Xiaowei Xiao uses the Smite onto him. <laughs> and they actually pull off to go take down move instead of trying to finish the Baron with a possibility that move can come back for damage. CLG is kind of, like you said, rounded out to that. And everybody can be the one to get that ball and strike it into the net this time. Oh, this is a move. This is what didn't happen last game. COD is trying to cut off the three people from Team Liquid, but a stun in the turret. Oh, very close. Explain the ignites on. That could take him down. The potion hits. Oh, the flash forward, and he's going to get roared by Quas. 
Scion with first blood. They're going to try to get that double buff off of him. Quas is loving the fact that he gets that in the lane now. They can just continue. Oh boy, I liked it. That aggro on him immediately, oh. though. He's out of the turn range. Last shot, like you said. Trying to kill a brick wall. Quas stays alive. Oh, a special flashes forward for the Tibbers. And he's able to take down Zion Spartan. Three kills now coming in. That's Team Liquid still diving under the turret. He Sharima slides his way in. Turret goes oh. down. They're able to get it. Fardalt almost helping him out there, but he goes down right as the last soldier gives him a poke. If Zion had had that leap go off a minion and double, he could have Meganard everyone right. into the wall. But even though he didn't, every flash on people that escaped was burned. And they want Phoenix in this turret. Oh boy. He's pretty strong though. What's he gonna do? Oh! Oh, oh he got two! He's Phoenix. gonna get a triple Phoenix. kill! A quadra kill! An amazing wow. play by Phoenix on his ear! The legacy of Sharima is real! I said we let that one breathe for a little while. Yep. Definitely will put the guy that wants to do the DPS while Turtle more in a safe position in the fights. Here though, they could start to get him going very early, going for Kelly Trolls in the bot lane. Who's gonna be the first to take aggro? Santorin can flag and drag out. If it is him, it's gonna be onto Lust Boy. He flashes out nicely, but the whole team of Team A reads this, and Ooh. Kelly Trolls gets first blood. Kelly Trolls stays alive. Dyrus goes down, and they can't get Wild Turtle anything in the bottom lane. This should be easy gold to pick up off the map uh, as they're able to force TDK off. Ooh, good flash by Latman. Gets away from the Balls Q, but of course Fizz still on the chase. Trinity Force there, ease forward. Spell Shield's not going to do a single thing. And Latman gets solo killed before burn. the Seraph TP even comes in. Balls flashes, sorry, jumps away. Boomerang means nothing. Adrian, but Lemon Nation is also there for the counter. Pink Ward pushed up here by Cloud9, definitely giving him the advantage. They know that Adrian just walked out, but he was still on the side. There is the Shockwave coming in. It's going to be a Chaos Storm kill onto Xiao Wei Xiao, but they still get the Retribution on Incarnation. Impact's taking quite a bit of damage as Rush comes in. A ding ding, a new challenger approaches, and they get the Twisted Advance onto Sneaky. That was the worry. No escape for the Jinx, and now a no escape for Lemon Nation. Rush coming up big as he connects the Sonic Wave, the Resonating Strike to boot, and he will not follow through on the Meteos. Down wards without even being skirmished on. And they're the ones that want to start the fight. Sneaky in a bad spot. Unbreakable Wills tanking the turret from the beginning oh, and oh. completely dunked is Sneaky. Balls is going to go down thinking he can actually assist. And the I think I can may continue to play through for Cloud9. They get right in the way of the Shockwave. That's Lemonation. One more hit is Adrian in range. It's going to be the command oh. move coming in from Xiao Wei Xiao. Another kill. And somehow with one person under that inhibitor turret, four go down, or rather outer turret, four go down for Cloud9. Aaron minions on the turret. All right, going to allow too much to flash kick for Sneaky. Again? Absolutely dunked with the last auto attack for oh. Apollo. And now here comes on the hunt once again. In range as much as they need to be. One last hit to Lemon Nation. Rush gets the face of the mountain coming in from good guy Adrian. And it looks like they're still able to engage. Impact completely tanking that shredding inhibitor turret. Ball's now in the wrong spot at the wrong time. He's going to go down. They're going to be able to drop down Meteos. That's the ace for Impulse, 19-3. A lot of pressure, a lot of fandom on the line, and this game will be a good determinant of who's better next uh, for the end of the split. Oh, Smithy. Oh, go into the pulverized Smithy. He went down first yesterday. He goes down first again in a bad spot again at the wrong time. Double lift and the rest of the team have a lot of follow-up DPS here. The face stop though. How does that happen? The in a mid-game team fight like that uh, is a little bit perplexing. Very big miscommunication there for T. Oh boy. Double F though. <laughs> oh my lord. He didn't even need to hit the full equalizer. Hot damn. Dyer is cooking up. And yeah. Make that all in play on CLG. Not the one they oh, want. Oh, but it oh is my. the one that they want. Whoa. Santorin Plus heads boy. in with the Jarvan Quattro Cataclysm. The, the attempts you're seeing, you know, well played lane harass and well played. Oh, the hook. Actually, that was amazing. The ignite is on. Seraph could not possibly live through this one. The first blood goes through to the Thresh and Smoothie with a great hook on a core. JJ nearly makes him die. Summoner heal force, but still a great first blood for Dignitas.